In the previous VSDL uh, tutorial, we saw how to create a 2 to 1 multiplexer using data flow model. In this example, we'll use that 2 to 1 multiplexer to create a larger 4 to 1 multiplexer using structural VSDL. So this is our goal. We want to create a 4 to 1 multiplexer using a cascade of 3 2 to 1 multiplexers like this. Our goal is for y to be equal to a when the select lines are 0, 0, b when it's 0, 1, c for 1, 0, and d when it's 1, 1. So we're going to basically describe this. Uh, in the previous version, in the previous version, we declared a two input multiplexer with using data flow. Data flow recall, data flow was basically describing how the input data uh, moves towards the output using a particular Boolean expression. In the structural model, we will take this particular circuit diagram or a block diagram and literally translate the structure of this diagram towards VSDL. So for to do that, let's go to ISC, uh, create, a, create a new source. Let me call that VSDL module uh, my mux 4 Add to project. Inputs are A, B, C, and D. We need a select line, but since there are four inputs, we need a two-bit select line. So click on bus, and the most significant bit of the bus is one. The least significant is zero, so that makes it a two wires. And the final output Y is a single wire. So we have a basic skeleton of the design. Uh, my mux4. So we're going to create this my mux4 in this structure by using three copies of my mux2. So whenever you're we're doing structural design, we need to let the architecture know what design we're borrowing from, what component are we using. So let's go back to my mux2 and copy its entity. Entity was recall this was what describes the interface to my mux2. So we'll copy that and edit that. So I've copied that here. I don't want this to be the entity. What I want this to be is a component declaration. And we do that using the component keyword. So component my mux2 is, and then we basically de describe the port of that component, and finally end that particular component. Okay. So basically what we're doing here is de uh, declare all components being used in MUX4. Now let's go look back at this particular figure. We have components, we also have internal signals T1, T2. They also need to be declared. So let's declare them as signals. Signals are neither input or output, so we'll just declare them T1, T2, and these are just standard logic. Now we can begin describing. We start describing by basically, let's start with U1. And the way we do it is by giving it any name, U1. This is nothing unique. You can call it whatever you want, colon. Now the name of the component we want to use, so my mux2 in this case. And then we want to map the ports, port map. What we want to map is A of my MUX4, B of my MUX4, S0, which is the least significant bit of S0, to S of my MUX2. So I'm mapping A to A, B to B, and S0, S0 from here to S, and my output goes to T2 as described in that picture. So let's go make sure that that's the case in that picture. So I have U1, A, B being described, and T2. Let's describe U2 with C, D, S0, and T, and the output of it is T1. So let's go here, U2, my mux2 port map, C, D, the select line is still S0, and the output goes to T2. T1. Now let's describe U3, the final MUX, which is my MUX, port map. The inputs are T2, T1, and T2, 
uh, select line is S1 and the final output is a Y. So what we have described here using these three lines, each line describes the connection. Okay. U1, U2, U3. So let's go make sure that's what it is. Here, based on the diagram, this should be T2 and T1 because we know that the 2 to 1 mux selects A when S is 0. So in this picture, T2 is selected when it's 0. So T2 is being selected when S1 is 0. So let's go make sure that that is what it is. So we have a complete structure. So let me save this. And I have an error. So let me go figure out what the error is. So it says error name. So here, the error is for this extra space. Save. One thing, we do a synthesize and let's make sure everything works. So again, you can look at the synthesis report. Let's look at the RTL schematic. I have ABCD as the input, S, uh, a bus as a select line, Y, if I look at it, I can see that it's created from three different MUXs. So this is one way to verify that what you've created using this word description is what you want it to do. It's always a good idea to create a test bench and simulate this and make sure uh, that design is working. So you can create a test bench using, uh, uh, using the same idea as to how we did for the two input multiplexer.